Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. Who's gay? <laughs> What's up, party people? It's your girl Songbird. Dante Brock. And we are back for another episode of your favorite internet show. Hit it. Pull it off. Never an addition. Damn, you were just beyond weird. Sit on my front porch like right? mm. 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 thirsty. Oh, God. don't, don't. I hope somebody takes your car when you get old. I'm gonna buy one of them old man vans. You know, the ones that, that they got the little rails on the back. You know, I open it up and you can lay down in there. Ew. You should Cosby, everybody. I know what I'm talking about. Hey, right. Bill. Hey, y'all over here, y'all talking trash about Bill. Them girls are passed out. They don't know what happened. It couldn't have been him. He could have paid somebody. You don't know. There's a lot of possibilities. How many of y'all done passed out drunk or intoxicated on something else and don't know what happened? You don't know what happened to you. The last person you remember seeing is them, but hey, somebody else could have slid in. You know what? Not even. All right, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you hit that bell so that every time a new episode pops up, you'll be notified. Exactly. That way you can see these chocolate faces. You know, sometimes y'all get a glimpse of this shiny forehead. No, I'll pop that. I'll try to keep this down, y'all. You need to do something about that. We're going to take you to see a dermatologist. Dermatologist? Yes. See, see, she's starting to talk like me, y'all. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our new episode. So the topic for today is how to get over a relationship. Now, I'm sure this is something that everyone has experienced once in a while. And it's a very heartbreaking thing trying to get over someone that you were in a relationship with that you cared about and you felt deeply, deeply, sometimes in love for but unfortunately things did not work out and you guys had to part ways and um <clears throat> i know that there is a saying that says the best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. yes baby yes get up that is that. not true yeah, let's get up under that. because what i have noticed is that person that you rebound with usually has more issues than the person you just broke up with because your judgment is cloudy, you're not making good decisions, and you're basically just trying to Get find some hard. No, no, it's not that. You're just trying to get someone to be a band-aid, basically, to to cover the pain. And you usually end up picking someone that's worse than what you had. And so now you're stuck with this crazy ass. Um, backup person that you got what is it rebound there we go that's what I was looking for you're stuck with this crazy ass rebound person most of the time you're still arguing with the ex and now it's just like what do you do you sitting here hurting because you still hurt from the breakup and then you still gotta deal with this crazy ass rebound person you deal with so you can't even deal with the the ending of a relationship because you jumped into something new and don't know how to deal with that because the person's crazy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times what we do is when we so-called hurt or we get broken up with, you know, we'll find somebody that'll tell us basically everything that the last person didn't tell us. So we automatically gravitate to them. But just like just like how the previous person that was with, we didn't take the time to get to know this person before we jumped into it. So if you took the time to get to know this person, then you'll be able to see all of those flaws, which would not make your rebound experience such a tragic one. Now, a lot of us, what we do, and this is men and women, we think that, oh, at the moment I start dating somebody else, all of my feelings for the other person gonna go away. No, it's no. not gonna go away. 
And nine times out of ten, the rebound person, and in our mind, will not look better than the other person that we're trying to get over. They, they just won't. And so if you're a rebound, if you're, if you're dating somebody and they just broke up with somebody, I'm say maybe within a week to four months, they're not completely over that person. And you are the rebound. But why would you try to jump back in another relationship like that quickly? Uh, because a lot of people, they value their, I don't know if it's their self-worth with someone else, meaning they have to have yeah. somebody. They they have to be with somebody. Whether they really want to be with that person or not, whether that person is meant for them or not, they have to be with somebody. They're the main ones that, yeah, I can be single, I can be single, but they but they not, they never single. They never single. They hop out of one relationship and then they hop into the next. They would rather be in a relationship with somebody that they are well aware that's not for them than to sit at home and say that I'm single. I never understood that about hopping into relationships with people. I don't even like people that much. I think, I think, most, I think in today's society, a lot of relationships is just for show. Well, yeah, just just for show. That's nobody is doing for anything for the gram. Yeah, nobody is doing anything that's for long term longevity at all. Nobody is doing well, you Why? Know, Okay, I ain't gonna say nobody because y'all are just, well, me and my girl, we doing it. Me and my dude, we doing it. We're not talking about you, bro, or female. I call everybody bro. So when I say bro, I'm not just talking about a dude. I'm talking about a female. You bro too. Everybody bro. Every, I call her bro all the time. And that's possible because we all, everybody in the world starting out as the same gender. And what is that? Bro. So, that's why I call everybody bro. <laughs> you are completely wrong. I know they say everybody. Well, according to Tiffany Haddish, <laughs> we my, love you, Tiffany my, Haddish. Yes, oh, I, I love her. <laughs> according to her, all the guys are coochies fell out. So that's true. Yeah, that's why we all be walking, acting like some bitches. That's why y'all be acting like some bitches. That's <laughs> hey, that interview was funny. I don't care what nobody said. That was funny. Tiffany Haddish on the Breakfast Club interview. Yes, this is a plug. No, they're not paying us. At all. <laughs> but Tiffany Haddish, we got your book. We watch your interviews. We like your material. You need to reach out. If this run across your desk, reach out to us. <laughs> to I. To me. Yes. Yeah. I'm the more professional one. I'm not. <laughs> we, I'm going to sit there. We're going to crack all day. We ain't going to get no work done. Like here, yeah, we never. Do. <laughs> it takes us so long to do these videos that I be cracking. That is absolutely true. But back to the topic, because once again we're off topic. Um, I think the best way to get over a relationship is to just take that time. Let have an orgy. That's what you do. That's what you. Do. You. This is what. You, this is how you get over a relationship. You really, you really want to be done with that person. You have to go to the extreme. You have to go to the upper echelon extreme. Let me tell you what you do. You go find all of that person's, like, people that you know that they like. So let's just say you a, you a guy, right? And you know that your girl or your ex, she, she light skin and she don't really like dark skin females. So you, what you do is you go get a, a, um, a, a bunch of dark skin females. Get them agreed to an orgy. Then you record it. And then you accidentally tag her in it. She gonna be upset. Cause one, she don't like dark skinned girls. And two, why are you sending this to me? Now if you're a female, if you're a female, now let's say you dating, you know, you dating the dude that's on the plus size. And you know, you know, he probably insecure about him being plus size. And and light skin. Let's say he, he plus size and light skin. Go get you some skinny dark skin dude and have an orgy. Why does everything, why is the common denominator orgy? Why is that always your common denominator? Orgies are healthy. It relieves stress. You work on your social skills. It teaches you how to share. And you make friends in the process. And it's a great networking opportunity. All right, you can go with this completely outlandish advice, or we can go with the sensible advice. Just take the they, time. They parents. Take the time 
Let the relationship mourn and die. Get over those feelings that you have for that person. Um, pick up a hobby. Um, learn to cook. Learn to sew. Learn to do something like that. That's well, if you're not a cook, that's probably what ain't with you now. If you're not a cook, males and females both like to, like to eat. Females like a man that can cook. So, in case you fellas, y'all are watching, y'all don't know, females like If you can read, can you cook. can cook. Hey, just because you read, that don't mean, yeah, you can read the ingredients, but if you don't know the math or you don't have any type of cooking background, it's not going to come out good. I'm sorry. Like, mm-hmm. if it's telling you to put a quarter this, quarter that, you don't know what the hell a quarter is. And then they structure. That's what they have the measuring tables for. Black people don't have the measuring tables. I do. You're one. We, normal black people, we pour it in. We eyeball it. So I'm not normal? No. We pour it in like, yep, that looks like I'm about a teaspoon. But we're going to put a little extra in case I'm off. I'm done. I'm Songbird. You guys have a nice day. This is Dante Black, the real black person. The real black person. She's a clone.